friends. I'm Miss Rachel. And I'm Miss Kenzie. And today we are going to be doing a lab experiment having to do with your heart rate. So our topic for science was the body system and we chose, like Rachel said, the heart rate, which is part of the cardiovascular system. Uh, it takes the body about 20 seconds for blood to travel through. And that is pretty amazing because if you stretched it out all of your veins, arteries, capillaries, and vessels, you would have a rope about 60,000 miles long. That's long enough to circle the earth twice. That's pretty crazy. But wait, your heart beats more than every 20 seconds. So what's up with that? So what is your heart rate? Well, it takes 20 seconds for blood to travel throughout the body. But your heart beats faster and more often than every 20 seconds because not all your blood goes through your body at one time. This means your heart is always pumping blood. Have you ever noticed that sometimes your heart beats faster than it does at other times? Why is that, Kenzie? Well, let's find out. All right, so for our lab today, what you'll need is yourself, pen and paper, the help of an adult if needed, and a stopwatch, and the timer should have seconds or a clock with the second hand. And not to mention also this handy dandy chart to help keep track for you. So we are gonna get familiar with checking your heart rate. To check your heart rate, Put your first two fingers just below your jaw, pressing gently, and you're gonna feel for the spot where you can feel your pulse. And if you need any help, you can check with a parent to help you, but you'll take those two fingers and put them right there until you feel that soft spot where you'll feel your heart beating. Another place you could do this if you aren't comfortable with doing it on your neck is on your wrist. There is an outer bone and you kind of go in a little to the more soft spot. And if you wait for a second, you can feel your pulse there too. Once you are confident with checking your pulse or having a parent help you, continue with the remaining steps of the experiment. And these are gonna be our remaining steps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find what your heart rate is in these different kinds of movement. So standing still, running in place for one minute, laying down for one minute, and walking around at a normal pace for one minute. So standing still, we're gonna take our heart rate and write down the number of beats per minute. So how many times you feel that pulsing on your fingers per minute. Then we're gonna repeat that step with running in place, laying down and walking at a normal pace for one minute. We're gonna write them down and then we're gonna look at our results. When did our heart beat the fastest? When did it beat the slowest? What was your highest heart rate and what was your slowest heart rate? All right, well, let's get to it. All right, welcome back. We are going to start writing down our times. So we have been standing here for about a minute and I'm going to check my heart rate. Remember those two fingers. Hello, so Mackenzie was standing still for one minute and now she has been checking her heart rate. So over the 60 seconds that this timer has been going, she's been standing there counting how many times she feels her heartbeat on those two fingers that we talked about. So now we got nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. All right, Kenzie. 72 beats per minute. 72 beats per minute. So that's how many times Kenzie's heart beats when she is standing still. Now we're gonna do the same thing, except I'm gonna be running in place for one minute. She has five seconds left. <laughs> All right, and now she can start recording her heart rate. All right, so my heart rate for one minute was 116 beats per minute. So now, we are going to lay down for one minute and then see what our heart rate's at. All right, I finished checking my pulse and it is 70 beats per minute after laying down for one minute. All right. 
So now Miss Kenzie is going to walk at a regular pace for one minute and then we will check her heartbeat. All right, so I just walked about the room at a normal, my normal pace for one minute and recorded my heart rate at 111 beats per minute. So make sure you have all of your heart rates recorded and now we are gonna go back to the desk and see what we found out. All right, now that we are done with those activities and we have our chart filled out, let's see what we found. So standing still for one minute, 72 beats per minute. Running in place for one minute, 116 beats per minute. Laying down for one minute, 70 beats per minute. And walking around at a normal pace for one minute is 111 beats per minute. Now, Miss Kenzie, why are the heartbeats different for each of those activities? Well, the faster you move, your body moves, the more oxygen it takes for your body to function. This means your blood has to work harder and faster to get your body the oxygen it needs. So, to get there faster, the heart has to pump faster. Just like a car speeds up when you give it more gas. What activities do you think you could do where you could make your heart rate even faster than some of these? This concludes our lab for today. Thanks for joining us on the Rachel McKenzie Show. Have a great Thanksgiving! Bye. We'll see you soon. <laughs>